Hey guys, it's Steve with a quick tip, and what we're going to do is just animate the camera for a minute. We're going to throw a few, uh, few keyframes in, so just shift A. I'm going to drop in a camera. Now if you're on a laptop, it's kind of tough sometimes, so emulate number pad really helps out. Then just control alt zero. Now all you have to do from here is go to view in the end panel just by pressing N and lock camera to view. So now you can do this. It's a lot easier. Now for this also switch from global to local. Make sure the camera is highlighted and then G and Z will kind of move you in and out. And then you'll figure out the rest as we go along. So pressing I in the 3D viewport, we're just going for location, rotation, scale. And that's pretty important. So from here you can move over to something like frame 50. And if you're having trouble adjusting it where you want, just hit the left or the right arrow on the number pad and it will move it one frame forward or backwards. So now I'll just hit G and Z. Kind of move this back out a little bit. This is going to be a quick animation. Insert, location, rotation, scale again. Don't forget to move out to frame 100. And I'll just move this over a little bit. And you could middle mouse wheel in, but it gets kind of convoluted and you have trouble zooming. So this is the better way of doing it. And what I'll do is just kind of go up this way. Now, if you were to like rotate on Y, you can move this way and rotate on the X's up and down. Pretty easy stuff. So as I insert one more keyframe, then I'll go ahead and hit play and get this quick little snappy animation. Now that's a little bit less than believable. So I like to grab the camera here and come on down. Now, if you don't have Shakeify, it's an actual add-on. So if you were to come to preference after downloading and I will put a link down below and make sure to hit that subscribe and that like button. It helps my channel out a lot. So what we're gonna do is we go to add-ons and I'll just put in camera and you can see I've got camera Shakeify. And now it's really cool. It's just like adding a vertex group. I'm just gonna click add. And then from here, and you've got a drop down of presets. You can make your own custom, but the presets are pretty good. I'll just choose spaceship shake. Then if we look at that real quick, that's crazy. So that's the influence. Bring that down considerably. And you can bring the scale down to something like 0 0.20. And then if you go back to frame one and hit play, that's a little bit more convincing. Not as hard on the eyes. And of course, as always, add more frames and spread those keyframes out if you want it to be a longer transition between the camera switches. Now, if you happen to roll the middle mouse wheel in this mode, sometimes it would be very difficult to get it back. But since you've got keyframes locked in and hopefully you stayed on the access points when we went to local, then all you have to do is kind of just move the timeline and it lines it right back up for you. So if you messed up when you were at 50, you can just roll back and then go forward. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.